You want to know what it's like to run through hell? It's not what you see in those movies fire and brimstone, shadows lurking in the dark. No, it's far worse. It's feeling every muscle tear, every bone crack, every ounce of hope ripped apart by hands you once trusted. It's staring into the abyss and knowing that it's not some monster staring back at you. It's your own reflection hollow, empty, begging for something, anything, to pull you out. And when the world expects you to break, when they want you on your knees, crawling through the dirt, that's when you stand. That's when you rise. Because hell isn't a place you run through, it's a place you own. I felt the flames scorch my skin, the weight of betrayal claw at my soul. But you know what? It didn't destroy me. It sharpened me. Every time I hit the ground, every time they thought they had me cornered, I felt a fire ignite that no one could put out. See, hell doesn't consume you, it forges you. The pain becomes a forge, the darkness an anvil. And every hit, every hit, every scar, every whisper of doubt that crept in, they were all hammers shaping something far stronger than what they tried to break. They thought they could bury me under the ashes of my own failure. They underestimated the power of a mind twisted and tempered by pain. When you're stripped of everything, your pride, your dignity, your peace, you find something deeper, something primal. The beast they've been feeding with every lie, every knife in the back. It grows, it evolves, and eventually, it claws its way out of the grave they dug for you. When you run through hell, you don't do it to escape. You do it to learn. To understand that every step, every wound, and every scream is molding you into something they can't control something they should fear. They wanted a victim, someone they could push down over and over, someone who'd beg for mercy. But I didn't give them that satisfaction. I turned that weakness into rage, that fear into a weapon. And I ran through hell not to flee, but to emerge as a storm they could never silence. The fire didn't burn me. It didn't break me. It baptized me. And when you walk through hell and come out the other side, there's a moment of realization the chains they tried to wrap around your soul, those chains weren't meant to bind. They were meant to pull you deeper into your own power, into the darkness where you can see what you truly are without the masks, without the lies. You become the very thing they fear. I didn't come out of that place as a survivor. Survivors cling to what was. I came out as a force, someone who doesn't need their approval, their validation, or their fake sympathy. Because when you've run through hell, and felt it sear through your veins. You know that every step forward isn't just survival, it's revenge. Revenge against every whisper that said you couldn't, every face that smirked when you fell, and every hand that pulled you down when you tried to rise. There's no light at the end of the tunnel, no miraculous salvation waiting for you on the other side. You learn to become your own light, your own savior, because the only way out of hell is to burn brighter than it ever could. And once you do, once you rise with the ashes still clinging to your skin, you look at the ones who tried to break you, and you let them see what they've created. A monster? Maybe. But a monster they'll never tame, never control, and never silence. I didn't just survive hell. I made it my training ground. I forged my armor in its flames, sharpened my claws on its walls. And now, when they see me, they see the storm they unleashed. They see the eyes of someone who's tasted pain and didn't run. Someone who embraced the darkness and let it shape them into something terrifying. They see a reckoning. Running through hell isn't about escape. It's about transformation. It's about looking at everything that's tried to break you and deciding to become unbreakable. It's about turning the fear into fury, the pain into power. And when they see that fire in your eyes, when they feel the ground shake beneath your steps, they know. They know they've made a mistake, a fatal one. So when you run through hell, don't do it with your head down. Don't beg for mercy, and don't wait for salvation. You run with your head high, your eyes fierce, and you make every step a declaration of defiance. You become the beast they never wanted to face, the force they can't contain. You run, and you let the fire consume everything that was weak, everything that was afraid, until all that's left is the strength they'll never break. Now, look them in the eyes. Let them see the flames they couldn't extinguish, the power they couldn't suppress. And when they realize they've unleashed something far more dangerous than they ever imagined, you smile. Because the only thing scarier than running through hell is becoming the one who owns it. Subscribe if you feel that fire too. Because once you've run through hell and come out the other side, you're unstoppable. You're a force to be reckoned with.